hello viewers i am pankaj kumar and you are watching make engineering knowledge junction so first of all i would like to request you please do like share and subscribe my channel and also leave your comments and suggestion in the comment section in this tutorial i am going to show you how to analyze a overhanging beam with hinged at point b and rolling support at point b and there is also 30 kN load acting at point A and 50 kN load acting at point C. So first of all open ANSYS mechanical APDL, click on preferences, click on structural, then click OK, go to preprocessor, click on MN tab, click on element, add, edit, delete, then click on add, select beam, then select 2 node 188, this is the save function. So click OK, now close this, minimize this go to material properties click on material models then click on structural then click on linear then click on elastic then click on isotropic and give the value of Young's modulus that is 2e5 and pygen's ratio is 0.3 for steel now click ok close this minimize material properties go to sections then click on beams then click on common sections and then go to subtype and select rectangle and offset as centroid and give the value of breadth as 200 mm and height as 300 mm now click preview to cross section so this is the cross section now click ok and click here as right click of mouse and then the plot is to hide the cross section now minimize this section and go to modeling now click on create then click on key point then click on inactive cs now look at your question so first point is at origin second point is at 101 meter and the third point is at 4 meter and the fourth point is at 6 meter. In NC mechanical APDL, click on inactive CS and type here 1 and I am going to give 0 for origin and for second point type here 2 and type here 1000 mm and click apply. I have given the value of distance in mm. Now type here 3 and give here the value as 4000 mm now click apply and give here the last point 4 and add here as 6000 mm now click ok now minimize key point and click on lines then click on lines then click on straight line type here and here to join first and second point and here and here to join second and third point and uh, enter 3 and 4 to join the 3 and 4 point now click ok now minimize the key point and modeling then go to meshing then go to size control click on manual size click on global click on size and give the value into which you want to divide a line between two key points i'm going to define a line between two in key points in 30 divisions you can divide in 30 40 50 60 as you base now click ok now minimize this go to meshing then click on lines then click on boxes and select all the lines in the box and click apply thus our meshing is done click ok now minimize preprocessor and click on plot to replot the line so you can clearly visualize the first point second point third point and fourth point and you can clearly see the uh, from first point to second point there are 30 divisions now you have to apply the loads for applying loads go to preprocessor minimize meshing and then go to loads then go to define load then go to apply then go to structural then go to displacement and click on key points so second point is a hinge so select the second point and click apply and select ux ui uz and rotational x rotational y do not select rotational z now click ok now again click on key point and then select the last point and click apply since this point is roller support so select only ui and leave other parameters as it is now click ok thus we have applied the hinge support and rolling support now we have to apply the force so click on force slash moment then click on key points so we have 
4 clean internet origin then select the origin and click apply and then go to here and select fy and type here as minus 4000 that is 4 kilonewton sorry that here the load is 30 kilonewton so we have to type there 30 kilonewton so type here as minus 30000 and then click apply again see what is the value of force as point c 50 kilonewton so go to ansys mechanical and select a third point and click apply again select here fy and give value here minus 50000 one two three then click ok show minimize this and again minimize the preprocessor now we have applied the force according to the given condition now we have to solve the problem so solving the problem go to solution then click on solve then click on current ls then click ok so thus our solution is done now close this and also close this and minimize solution go to general post procedure since we are doing the analysis of beam so we have to prepare table for sfd and bmt for this click on element table click on define table click on add go to this column and select the last option by sequence number and type here 3 and click apply again go to this column and select by sequence number and type here 6 click apply again go to this column and select by sequence number and type here 16 and click apply again go to this column and select by sequence number and type here 19 and then click ok thus we have prepared the table for sfd and bmd from this table combination of sims 3 and sms 16 will give us the bmd diagram and combination of smis 6 and sms 19 will give us the sfd diagram that is cr first diagram now close this to get the sfd and bmd diagram we have to go to plot result then click on counter plot then click on line element result now select here SMIS 6 and SMIS 19 to get the SFT diagram that is CR force diagram now click OK so this is the CR force diagram again click on line element result and select SMIS 3 and SMIS 16 to get the BMD diagram so this is the BMD diagram now minimize this and if you want to see the deform set then click on deform set then click deform plus on deform then click OK so this is the deformed shape of the beam if you want to see in this 3d view then click here isometric and then go to plot controls and then go to a style and then click on size and size now click here to on it and click ok so this is the 3d view of the deformed shape and if you want to see the animation of this then you have to go to plot controls then click on animate then click on deform shape and select here deform plus and deform and then click ok so this is the animation of deformed plus undeformed shape so close this now if you want to see the nodal solution then click on counter plot then click on nodal solution then click on DOF solution and if I want to see the displacement vector sum so click on this and then click OK so this is the intensity of displacement vector sum and the red region is the maximum region and the blue one is the minimum so you can visualize here the maximum to minimum and minimum to maximum again if you want to see the stress so then click on order solution then click on stress and bring down the arrow and select bone mice's stress now click ok so you can see the distribution of a stress that is bone mice's stress and red region stress is very high so this is the region where stress is very high similarly you can see the various result if you want to numerical value of result then click on list result and if you want to see the reaction then click on reaction solution then click on all items and then click ok so here you can see the reaction at point at node 2 and 62 so close this and now if you want to see the nodal loads then click on nodal loads and then select all items and click ok so this is the nodal loads now close this and if you want to see the displacement vector sum value then click on the nodal solution then click on degree of freedom solution then click on displacement vector sum and then click ok so this is the displacement vector sum value at each node now close this similarly you can view the 
various result and the general perspective so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe bye bye